how do we measure success in the swine business? Think about it. Each segment of production pursuing only its own specific goals. Is this really the best way to safeguard your profit today and in the future? Not necessarily. Unit-focused thinking can negatively impact revenue and profit of the swine business as a whole. One key component of output is the breeding herd. Ovulation occurs towards the end of estrus. This is the perfect time for insemination. You're able to align the reproductive cycles of larger cell batches. We can distinguish between two kinds of digestion, enzymatic on the one hand and bacterial on the other. Primarily in the small intestine, enzymes cleave nutrients into absorbable components. Feed ingredients that have not been digested by enzymes are broken down by the bacteria of the intestinal flora. Let's take a closer look at skeletal muscle tissue in swine. The muscles are made up of fascicles. These in turn consist of muscle fibers. Enhancing protein synthesis in the cells of the muscle fibers results in muscle growth. <laughs> 